Hello everyone, I'm Roy Garcia and welcome to Content Marketing Insider powered by Repurpose.io. On this episode, we are going to be talking about growing your business using short form video content. Who better to talk about this particular topic than the one who owns Ottoman Digital? He is specializing in lead generation for automotive, real estate, and service providers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mark Lavoie. Mark? What an intro. Glad to be here. It's pretty cool. I'm excited because I got to be honest, when I found you guys at Repurpose, you and you, like the team and the tool, I, I just went like, thank God there's something that exists like that. But I'm excited to be here and talk about this topic today because it's been helping me and a lot of my clients too. And I think it's still like content marketing, especially short form video. It's misunderstood. It's also underrated in terms of how it can just drag your business way faster than you think. So I'm excited to join you here today. We're going to talk about growing your business using short form video content. Hey, I'm excited to talk about that, especially when you said that, you know, sometimes it's a little underrated, but businesses can actually utilize this. If you're not maximizing this, you've better maximize the short video after watching this episode. Now, before we yeah. go to the three points, tell us what is Ottoman Digital and what do you guys do? Um, I started this business right before COVID. So it was, it was quite a challenge. So this is why video content has helped me a lot. We do like done for you services in terms of marketing agency. So let's say there's someone that wants more leads for their automotive dealership, their real estate business, financial services. We can help them with that, with ads, with content, whatever, right? But also some people want to do it themselves, but they're not quite sure how to do it. So this is the online training portion of my business, which is the favorite part because I think most businesses now have the tools and um, automations available if they know what to do to actually create their own marketing strategy and run it themselves. The episode today, we're going to talk about growing your business using short form video content. And we've got three things. First one is the importance of content marketing. How important is content marketing today? It has immediate impact. So if you start creating content, you'll get better at what you do naturally, and you'll be projecting on to the world what you do and what you're good at. The other thing is, and this is what I mainly, I secretly love about content marketing is that nobody's doing it. The, the proportion of people consuming content versus creating content is crazy. Okay. It's like it, there's a major discrepancy as a business owner, or if, even if you don't own the business, if you create content, you're among the 1% already. So 99% won't be doing it because they're shy. They're scared. It's all legit reasons, by the way. And you might be listening to this and you're not creating content yet or not as much as you would like to just by doing it, you get ahead. So so many people and attracting more customers or more potential customers to you. And I've seen the inbound leads and the power of the leads that come in. It's crazy. Somebody will call me or send me an email, fill out my form and say, you know what? I watched 12 of your videos. When can we start? I used to be a sales rep at the, another agency before. I used to take my car, drive to businesses, introduce myself, do cold calling, all that stuff. I could do maybe five, six meetings in a day if I went on fire. And it was a lot of energy. Now I do 50 to 100 pitches per day just because of video. And I'm talking YouTube videos, TikTok, Reels, whatever, right? And I think this is super underrated. And I'm not a superstar on the web. Nobody knows me. And like mainly 90% of my clients that come in, come in, they're ready to sign, ready to go. They trust me because they've been seeing me and my content and what I've been talking about. I've been educating people on what I know, what we're doing with our clients. And they're like, I want to work with these guys. If you're not doing content, you're missing out on everything I just said every single day. I'm not like uh, a big influencer right now, but I got 50 to 100 leads, natural organic leads per month just for content. And I'm just getting started in my end, in my mind. So it's, it's a real way to convince or warm up people on what you're about before they get in touch with you. So people that get in touch with you already know they connect with you and they're better consumers or potential customers from what I've seen. I used to try to sign or to work with everyone I could speak to, but not all customers are good for a business. And I feel like with it attracts people that are like you and it pushes back people that are not. Imagine that all the leads just
just for putting up content and you're not even there live, right? I mean, you can do this in your no. sleep, right? No, for real. That, that That's what's crazy. I encourage you, like, if you're listening to this, obviously you're thinking about something like this if you haven't started, but I think it's... It might be simpler than you think. And it's a great way to to break the ice or even melt the ice. You did mention that there are certain clients that when they reach out to you, it's like there's already a connection. And that's the key. I think content creation helps build connection. This This content game, it gives you a lot of trust really quick. It took six minutes. I closed them on a $6,000 a, uh, a year and like net profit wow. deal. And it was done. It's crazy. Well, speaking of content, Mark, did you know that Repurpose.io has a free guide for those who want to get started in either creating content or repurposing their content? And yes, content is king. And here at Repurpose.io, we take it seriously. So just go and check out the description below. The link is there. You can download the free guide so that you can get started with content creation powered by Repurpose.io. And we are back with Mark Lavoie. He is the owner of Ottoman Digital, and we're talking about growing your business using short form content. Now, the first part, we talked about the importance of content marketing. But the second part is it's not just enough about creating content, it's about optimizing content output. So, Mark, tell me a little bit about that. Like, there's two things I hear from my clients, and even two of my fears when I started doing this, okay? So one, I'm shy and, and I, I I hate my voice. I don't like to be on camera, yada, yada, right? That's one, but it's about you. And then when you, when you start doing it, you realize it's a lot of freaking work. There's so many things you could do, like chop it up. Obviously you could do like long, like everyone says, and Gary Vee says, you know, do you create pillar content, do you long form content and then chop it up, right? But then you, you'll be creating a 30 minute video and you'll be editing for like four hours. And then you also got to do Twitter. But then if you want to do short form, so which platform should you choose? Do you want to do YouTube? Do you want to do TikTok, Reels, Snapchat, Pinterest, LinkedIn? You know, it never ends. And it, you find yourself working a full day to put out like four 15 second clips. What I really like when I found you guys, I just, I found a tool that's actually letting me input one single piece of content and then syndicating to six other, like other different places. You could even do like snippets and all that stuff. It's really amazing. So when I found this tool, I was like, honestly, it's like from the time you save, then you could just put that time back in the video and create a piece of content that's higher quality and or you can create more different snippets. Creating content is a lot of work. So automating, saving time on like repetitive tasks will help you for sure. It's going to save money because way back before I found you guys, I was like, you know what? Should I hire someone who actually manages this? Like, do I build like some kind of Google Drive with a Notion board or Monday board and try to like keep up with all my my videos and see to get them edited, reformatted, all that kind of stuff, right? I was honestly, I was going crazy. I'm not even putting a lot of content out. So how can I do that? And how can I help my clients do the same? Because they're going to have the same issue with less time, probably. If you if you have to keep something in mind when creating uh, content or content marketing, short form video, whatever it is, right? I got a quote on my desktop. It says minimum input, maximum output, least amount of work for the maximum amount of results. And this is what short form video is letting you do right now. You could just drop a clip and get hundreds thousands and even tens of hundreds of thousands of, of, of views in, in a couple of days. And I think it's crazy for an investment of one minute, as long as you know how to tweak your video hooks and all that stuff. But I think I'm not coming here and saying I figured it all out um, because it's not the case, but I'm enjoying the process of finding what really works, how to connect with people, how to create content. And I, and I find like exploring new ideas, trying to educate my perfect buyer. It's helping me grow as an individual as well, because it's teaching me. If I want to teach someone, I got to make it clear. And to make it clear, I got to make sure I understand it first. This applies in every industry. Video content, short form video content is underrated simply because you can actually take, let's say, whatever your business is today, you take the 10 most common questions someone can ask you when you're on a sales calls, concerns, issues, and you answer on a piece of paper. And then this becomes a short form video. You make it 20 to 30 seconds and that's it. And then you push it as far as you can. And this is why Repurpose is actually helping you syndicate and make it better. 
I, 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 I'm always looking to shorten the process a little bit, make it, make it better. Um, also make sure there's less room for error. Yes. I, I think the key here, which is already in the, in the point is optimization. So you have mm -hmm. to find a way that you can work smart in uh, yep. the limited resources or even the time that you have finding a way to do things more efficiently can generally affect not just the output, but even the quality, even the, how you distribute your, your content. And Mark has done that. And Mark has been talking about repurpose.io. We want to ask you to try it out for free. Yes, for free. So go check the link in the description below and uh, sign up for a free trial. Go test it out. See how it will work with your business. And you can go through the same thing as Mark is going through and what he's experiencing in optimizing his content for his business. If he can do it, so can you. Go check out the description below. Go ahead and sign up for repurpose.io. And you're still with us here at Content Marketing Insider powered by repurpose.io. We're still with Mark from Ottoman Digital. We're talking about how to use short form content in growing your business. The third part that Mark is going to be talking about is maximizing your reach. Tell us a little bit more about that, Mark. Let's say you're creating content, okay? You want your piece of content to reach as many people as possible to make sure you can get as many people in your pipeline or funnel, whatever you're selling services, B2B, B2C, it works the same way. When I'm creating a piece of content, I'm saying, you know what, I want to push it on so many places. And then some social media platforms will help you understand if you're grabbing attention from the right people. Let's say I'm helping a client right now and they're creating a lot of content. One of the goals we're doing with, with, uh, with this content is one, creating organic content that reaches people and bring people in the, in the pipeline. But also we're taking the top 10% videos in terms of engagement, the, the one that works really, really well. And we push them to Facebook. Let's say like currently he's doing financial services. We're doing TikToks. And then we push them through Facebook tree re repurposes. I like, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a lie. It's true. By the way, guys, they didn't pay me to tell you that. Okay. Here's the process. We're doing this TikToks, the best TikToks to get pushed to Facebook reels. And from these Facebook reels connected to their page, we're pulling these videos automatically to their ad manager account. So their Facebook ads. So when we know which videos are resonating the best with their audience, customers, and like prospects, we push these as ads. And then Facebook lets you understand who watched at least 50% of a video and then send these guys into a, like a specific audience. And only to these people on Facebook ads, we create like, an ad with a specific call to action that pretty much says you you're looking for some financial help get into get in touch with us uh, fill out the form and then we're trying to just create clients this way and it works really well but just from a single piece of organic content we can filter down what's working best and then push these as ads and then build an audience from people who are really interested and really engaged because when someone watches 15, 20, 30, 25 seconds about a video on Facebook, I assume they're interested in where, like in the topic of the video. Cost per acquisition is like five times less than the average in this industry, just because we're doing all this sequence. But it all starts with content. Mark is explaining to everyone that it's not just about creating content, but making sure that your content is pushed to the right people, mm -hmm. that they're seen by the right audience. Now, in conclusion, Mark, Let's say, for example, someone is watching this video and saying, wait, I have a small business or I have a business in general, and I don't, I'm not really serious in this content marketing. I'm a little bit afraid. I don't know where to start. Uh, what would you tell that person? You get going, guys. Just, just make it happen. Start doing now. And at the, in the beginning, remember that no one's going to be watching your videos anyway, so you can mess up as much as you want. And then you're going to be proud and uh in maybe in three, six months from now, you'll be addicted to creating content because it's gonna be driving so much business and so like so many great um, people towards you. So make it happen, guys. We have links on the description of uh, how you can get in touch with Mark. Mark can guide you. He's been there and uh, he's the one of the best people that can bring you to where you need to be, specifically with your content marketing. Mark, such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, again, thank you everyone for joining us here at Content Marketing Insider powered by repurpose.io. 
We've got Mark right here and Roy Garcia here. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again next time.